So Jesus is in the synagogue teaching. We're not told which, but that it was one of the synagogues. It was a normal practice for him. Luke has a great interest in groups who are marginalized by their situation and their condition. So it's a woman who is crippled that comes to Jesus. Let me read to you from Luke 13, verses 10 through to 17. On a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues and a woman who was there had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over, could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, the synagogue leader said to the people, there are six days for work, so come and be healed on those days, not on the Sabbath. The Lord answered him, you hypocrites, doesn't each one of you on the Sabbath untie your ox or donkey from the stall and lead it out to give it water? Then should not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, who Satan has kept bound for 18 long years, be set free on the Sabbath day from what bound her? When he said all this, all his opponents were humiliated, but the people were delighted with all the wonderful things he was doing. Luke explains her condition as crippled by a spirit for 18 years. Now, I don't fully understand this. I don't pretend to understand what that means, but it seems to me that there are a couple of things that need to be said. One is that it has been a long standing illness, 18 years. That's a phenomenal period of time. And somehow her spirit is caught up with this, this thing that cut her off from all people. There's something about what happens here. We're told that Jesus saw her. He identified her. He called her forward and he spoke healing to her. He touched her and she immediately stood erect and praised God. It's a wonderful picture, really, of Jesus noticing and, and calling her forward and then telling her that she's healed. The need to be free is there for all of us. But for a woman in this situation, the need was so powerfully true. Truth and love bring healing. There's something really happening here. Brother Lawrence in The Practice of the Presence of God wrote this. I wish you could convince yourself that God is often in some sense nearer to us and more effectually present with us in sickness than in health. You see, Jesus met this woman in her need. Now, I like that. Uh, it wasn't something that uh, he just recognised. He actually met her at that point of need. And that's how it is for so many people. In the lovely story that we're listening to in the show today, uh, we know that uh, for Samantha, there's this real sense in which whatever her situation was, God was meeting her there in the middle of it. And uh, whether it's providing a pair of trousers or, or whatever happens in life, that's where God meets us. He doesn't somehow do it distant from us, but in the middle of it. And I, and I like the picture. She stood up erect after 18 years. This was a moment of great grace. Grace being that which we, we don't deserve. The unearned merit and, and love of God at work in her life. And that certainly was true. She didn't imagine, I'm sure, when she went along to the synagogue that morning, that there was going to be the kind of healing that was happening that Jesus brought to her life. But certainly it made such a transformation to her that when she stands up, everybody will be able to notice that. Something powerful has happened, that she'll never be the same ever again after this moment of the healing grace of Jesus Christ. And also you can imagine what it did to all those people around. We have so much, and I'm not going to concentrate on this greatly uh, this morning, but I'd want to say to you, isn't it something that, that the religious leaders were so angry at all this? Something positive and good and real and true. And all they were bothered about was the calendar and the day of the week. And, and, and there is something in the teaching of Jesus that really shows him active even on that day, which is a day of rest, that the day of rest, there is healing in the fullest sense for this woman. 
What does it say to any of us? Well, it tells us Jesus can meet us and he can meet you wherever you are. And whatever your situation, it may be very, very different than a woman that is crippled. It may be something deep in your life, but you can be absolutely certain that God meets you at that point of need. And he meets you immediately and he recognises you and he reaches out to you. Of course, you go to the place where you can be blessed, but it's God who reaches out to you. And in that moment, brings something of his presence, something of his power, something of his touch and something of his healing. You know, there's something absolutely splendid about this account. Luke has got this great interest in women, in people who are sick, people on the margins. And he's got this fantastic picture of the healing grace of God in the teaching of Jesus, in the actions of Jesus. And there's no doubt, whatever we do as we read this story, we recognise it, it is a moment of great grace.